Thank you for keeping us company. This is Y254 discussion Monday kicks off. Right now, my guest tonight is Cyrus Alitso. He's a political analyst. And as I have mentioned, we are talking about the political statement that was made by Member of Parliament of Kandara. Uh, Alice Wahome, thank you so much. Send in your comments or reactions to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. Now, good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you? I'm very well. Thank You've you. been good? I've been very good. Now, uh, last week, uh, towards the end of last week, we had a very interesting scenario where we had a member of parliament of Kandara say that uh, the president is planning to stay on power and he accused uh, the uh, the handshake rather or the his relationship with uh odium leader ray lodinga to be a new vehicle we want to listen in to what she said and then we move into our discussion uh all right but now we'll be listening to that in a bit yes. this is an accusation and before that they were in a burial mm -hmm. where it's alleged she called on the the president to allow people to have their freedom of speech. Yes. Let's listen in to what she said. Raira Odinga is his new political machinery for hire. And the BBI itself, the BBI process, the BBI report as expected, the BBI is the special purpose vehicle, SPU, the special purpose vehicle heading to the route that has been suggested by Murathe, Atwari, and Beth Mogo. And I'm sure Kenyans must be thinking Murathe is dreaming. No, I don't think Murathe is, is dreaming. I don't think Atwari is speaking from nowhere. I don't think Beth Mogo, who is a close relative of Uhuru Kenyatta, is also speaking from nowhere. When we made our constitution and put provisions of a term limit, we did not think, say, we did not put the limit of age because we expected that even at 70, if Kenyans want you to be their leader, then you'll be elected. But we did not also say that the qualification for you to stay is your age. Right, there you have it. She was uh, saying uh, these close affiliates of the president, uh, she alleges that uh, they are not speaking from the blues. She talked about uh, uh, Atwoli and then Mr. Murathe there. And you see, and also Beth Mugo. Now, these are a, a close a relative of the president. And uh, many Kenyans are here wondering, is it true? Who do we believe? Because he said the BBI is the new vehicle now to take the president to uh, the next power system. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, when I listen to what Alice Wahome comes out to speak, is what I can call uh, sarcasm to some extent. Why? Because the same same Alice Wahome was truly drumming support for Uhuru Kenyatta re-election come 2017. Mm -hmm. These are the people who are the critic of Raila himself. Mm -hmm. They are the people who could, who could not even say anything concerning the Jubilee government by then. Mm -hmm. When you hear him talk of uh, telling the president and lecturing the president on uh, things to do with the freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of what. These are the same things they were against previously, mm -hmm. before the re-election. These are some of the things they fought when somebody stood to speak of any evil, mm -hmm. of, of any dissatisfaction by the Jubilee government. Mm -hmm. There are some things that they came out to rubbish, like you're speaking nonsense, like you're the enemy, mm -hmm. and they are not. But uh, when I look at a statement that Orengo issued in Senate, when he said that uh, times the government comes and it's its own people, and that's what is happening today. Mm -hmm. And the statement was, he was saying the statement, addressing this, the, the speaker at that moment was Beth Mugo. Mm -hmm. Now, today, 
we are seeing Wahome crying. Not only Wahome, there are so many. Mm -hmm. We have Ndindi Nyoro has cried, and others are still crying. Many of them are crying. Mm. Why? They said turn or tena. There is dissatisfaction mm -hmm. amongst them. Mm. Which kind of dissatisfaction? They believed they would rule for 20 years. Because it was kumi yangu, kumi yaruto. Mm -hmm. So they believe they are going to enjoy leadership for 20 years mm -hmm. without any hitch. Mm -hmm. They never saw a union between the president and Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. They never expected a coldness from Ruto or from Uhuru to Ruto. Mm -hmm. They expected a smooth landing. But right now, whatever they are facing, they are hurdles. Mm -hmm. So they are coming out to fight the hurdles that is there. And the hurdles they believe to be is Raila Odinga. And is this scaring them for nothing or there's something? Uh, what, uh, what Raila has come to do, or what Raila has just done is just destabilizing mm -hmm. the, 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 the jubilee itself in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's still a leader of ODM. He has never left ODM to go and join jubilee, never. Mm -hmm. He's just oh, trying to work with the president in one way or the other as he speaks and says, one of my, my role is just to do what? Bring unity in the country. Uh, but you see, from other quarters, some people are dissatisfied with that. Mm -hmm. One, when they speak, you see, when Murade comes out and speak, one, we never know whether it is true or false, mm -hmm. but it is yet to be confirmed. Mm -hmm. When uh, Beth Mugo comes and out and speak, we never know, maybe it is true. But these are never, we cannot say they are the spokesman of the president. Mm -hmm. There are those people when they speak, we shall know it is true. When a mangina comes out and speaks it out, and then we shall know it is true. Mm -hmm. It's like, like today when uh, Ida comes and says, uh, Raila will be in the ballot, then take it to the bank, he will be there. True. But there are some people when they speak, mm -hmm. they are just but trying to create the political animosity. Mm -hmm. So whatever is just there is just, political chaos, just to weigh mm -hmm. where these people are. And uh, when they come out gun blazing, talking of Uru being the, uh, looking at staying at the prime minister position, right. look, they are talking about elections in the party come this year, Ma March. Ma yeah. March eh? yeah. These are some of the worrying things that are being, being brought to the party. And you see, that's why there's a party called TSP the Service People's Party, that is fronted and uh, being uh, championed by Kiunjuri. There is the CRP that was registered a long time ago, mm -hmm. that is with Wairia, who has said, I'm not retiring from politics, I'm in politics. Okay. And you see the Muranga people, there's always also, uh, as much as they always say that uh, there's disunity in other areas, mm -hmm. but there's always disunity in, this other, in the central region. True. because. The Muranga people have always felt that they have been denied to be in leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership has always been in Kiambu and Nyeri. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Even mm -hmm. Nyeri, they fought for it to be there. Okay. They felt they are not satisfied. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. And that's why even you saw in 202, most Kikus who voted for Kibaki were from Nyeri mm -hmm. and not from these other quarters. The Kiambu, the Muranga people uh, supported uh, Uhuru. Okay, so these are some of the dissatisfactions these people have felt for a long time, and they feel like mm -hmm. our people have, like Matiba fought for uh, uh, multi party, but he, was, he has been nowhere. Mm -hmm. We have Charles Rubia who has been just buried the other day, he has not been on the national mm -hmm. politics at all. So, where are we? These are some of the questions that are burning them. Right. Because you see, like somebody like Dindi Njoro is from the same, same area, Muranga. Right. Kihar, the, the member of uh, Kandara, is uh, from Muranga. You see, we also have, uh, also he's, he's very reserved, but he's also fighting his space, the governor, Mwangi mm Wairia. -hmm. You see, to go out and register a party, this one speaks a lot and speaks volume. Uh, the senator is silent, just playing his cards, but he's very silent. Yeah, but he's just being smart, okay? okay? Not to hurt anyone, okay? So these are some of the things these people are looking at. 
and they are fighting for their space and they are looking at if Ruto becomes the president today right. or becomes so and so today, we shall be here. These are the calculations that they are calculating. And remember the other time I mentioned and I told you, mm -hmm. when uh, Ruto came and said, eh, if I don't, it's not a must to be a president. It's not a must that people should die for me. If they are going to die for me just because of the president, then let it be. Yeah. yeah. Where, at what point did he reach and realize that it's not a must for him to be a president? He can be something else. He can be something else. He sat down and look, looked mm -hmm. at the BBI, mm -hmm. and you saw everybody support the BBI. Mm -hmm. Why? It favors everyone. Right. Okay? Because someone sees, if I can come up and marshal people, mm -hmm. and they be voted in as members of parliament, then parliament has power to appoint the prime minister. Then I become the prime minister. And that's why somebody comes and uh, says, okay, let me pull a stand and say, it's not a must I be a president. Mm. So this, the, the camp, the, 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 the camp, the jubilee, the, the two camps, eh? so these people are looking at, now this, this person is now, he wants now to take our position. Right. that we've been looking at. So that's why they have come out gun blazing. You see, there was that statement, mm -hmm. press statement, by Alice Wahome. Right. Okay? Yeah. And then there, there was another press statement, which I'm still trying to follow up, by Oscar Sud. Mm -hmm. And there are so many other press that are going to come out. So the, what are they defending? They are defending their position. All right. Now, there was a, a number of uh, allegations that came out uh, before we get to uh, the backlash she got from the people she mentioned. Uh, the allegations in terms of um, freedom of expression, she talked about uh, the development and the economy. Is she really right? Can okay. you question the president alone? We cannot question the president alone. When we question the president, the president is from a political party that forms the government. The political party is Jubilee. And for development to go on successfully, it has to go through the parliament approvals, which is done through budgeting process. Okay? Uh, cabinet does very little. Okay? But every power is vested in the parliament. And Jubilee, the, how the parliament is full of Jubilee which is led by the president, who is the party leader, party leader, and his deputy. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we cannot talk of underdevelopment without mentioning the two mm -hmm. and the members of parliament. We talk of the entire jubilee. This is the jubilee regime. So when we talk of the jubilee regime, we are talking of Uhuru, Ruto, and the other people who are in jubilee. Mm -hmm. Whether you support it through another political party or you are within the same, same, same jubilee. So we cannot mention under development and, and talk of Uhuru and miss to talk about Ruto. Mm -hmm. So they are all in the same, same category. All right. What they need to do is to stop politicking and concentrate on the big four agendas mm -hmm. that was in their manifesto. Remember they came up with a manifesto in uh, 2013 of the stadiums, mm -hmm. which they came again and mentioned at the, at the rerun uh, of uh, 2017. 2017. Mm -hmm. By 2020, these stadiums will have been, made, will have been completed. Mm -hmm. So 2020 is coming to an end, and we are looking at the stadiums that were mentioned to be completed by the end of 2020. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things I believe the Jubilee government should focus on. And they should look at the BBI mm -hmm. as something different, mm -hmm. but focus on their the, the four agendas they have. Mm -hmm. The universal health thing was just launched, okay. but it has not been fully implemented the way it was talked about. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the agriculture thing, the food security thing, mm -hmm. we have a big problem. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this year we are going to have a very big problem. Bearing in mind we didn't have a good harvest mm -hmm. last year. Bearing in mind the, the little we had in the farms was destroyed by the rains. Okay. Now, we, we have a problem with food security. So these are some of the things the Jubilee Party should be looking into. 
And that's why at times I say, and not, not at, most of the times I say, we should question our political parties. We should put our political parties on to accountability. And we need to stop having an acting officer mm -hmm. at the political parties act, okay? Who sits at lion place? We had uh, the other lady who sat there for five years on acting capacity. The one who is there currently is sitting there at, on acting capacity. Yeah. These are some of the things that we need to look into. Why can't we have full uh, officers in office, not in acting capacity? All because right. when you are in acting capacity, you cannot implement anything. Mm -hmm. Your hands are tied. All right. So what Jubilee needs to do to redeem itself, and it has time to redeem itself, it has just to sit down and work on the the, four, the big four agendas. Let them talk to, uh, if they think really is a problem, and to me I see it's not a problem, but it's a privilege. The because it's not that brought the problem. Uh, actually, we're running out of time. Uh, I don't know, time has gone so fast. Uh -huh. uh, but also, uh, when uh, she said all oh, what she said, uh, people came out and said, this is not true. Uh, I totally responded. He said, I'm not there. Uh, women rep of Moranga said, if you want to, you don't want the BBI, it's okay, just say it, we don't, mm -hmm. I don't want the BBI, stop pulling the president into your issues. But then, uh, she's, she also uh, decided now, I will rebut the same thing. And she said, what one I'm a vita, and uh, actually, uh, let's listen in to what she said as we uh, come to an end of this discussion. Kwa sababu tu ya kubuzia kakitu kidogo Na kusema kwenda bere Wacha tu wana inchi Wacha gue Na kwa kisiasa Ni vizuri watu wa achiliwe Ama munasema na mnagani Tena kwa hivyo sita kubali kutisiwa Na siogopi Na ninajua mungu pia Na wana inchi wako uh, she will not apologize. She cannot. <laughs> because what she said, uh, she believes she was right. Na lisema hata tisha tisho. These are a, a common statement by politicians we know. Mm -hmm. uh, it will not surprise me to see them shake hands come March mm. in the uh, Jubilee nomination time. Mm. Mm. Because they, they will be there. This is something that has been happening and they say there is no permanent po uh, enemy, enemy politics. politics yeah. They will shake hands. But the problem will be between me and you mm. if we fought against them. Uh, you see, right now, I can tell you, uh, the common Kenyans are very clever. <laughs> and they have seen it. And you will not see a common Kenyan fight. <laughs> and that's why today we see most of our politicians are fighting among themselves. But the common Kenyan will not fight. We shall sit together, we shall talk, and we shall discuss. Mm -hmm. Because right now, everybody has come to realization mm -hmm. with the social media. There I saw somebody saying, when we were in school those years, mm -hmm. we were being told that by 2020, our country shall be this, we shall have industry, we shall be having what. Now let us see what we were, we were being taught, if it's going to come to reality. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see, people have started questioning the the, the legibility of each and every government. Mm -hmm. What has it done? And uh, as I said, Jubilee has time to redeem itself. It didn't take uh, 10 years for Kibaki to build the roads. No. Yeah. It was for the second term and he built the roads. We have the, infra the infrastructure that we have mm -hmm. for a short time. So it is very easy for it to redeem itself. It, if it wants to be there for the 20 years it, it, uh, it looked for. Mm -hmm. So the squabbles that are there today are all about leadership squabbles and everybody's trying to look and, and, and position him or herself where they will be come 2022. Mm -hmm. It's not all about the common monainchi. Mm -hmm. It's not all about uh, the development, the economy, the, the, the big four agendas, the manifesto that we send to the people, but it's all about where will I be right. in 2022, mm -hmm. nothing else. Uh, you, you mentioned of something uh, about the stadiums and this is something that uh, comes and it's connected into our uh, deputy president because he's the one who said that. Mm. But also in our discussion here, I asked you, should uh, the president be questioned alone 
uh, about our economy and how bad we are faring. No. Would the same thing now happen to the deputy president? Because people say the deputy president promised us stadiums. Yeah. All this, and I've said, eh, you should, we should question the entire Jubilee team, mm -hmm. from the president to the MCA. Mm -hmm. Because implementation should be done by them. Mm -hmm. You want to secure the 20 regime leadership. Mm -hmm. Then you should deliver what you promised to the people. Okay, and if you fail to deliver this, how will we going to secure? How will we going to help you? Now you see, when they entered in, they were all politicking from 2013 up to now, up to 2022. They are all going to politic, fighting for the space of 2022. Okay, but not service delivery to the people, and that's why you see most of them are bitter. But let me tell you, if all these things were delivered, I'm telling you the truth, there will be no fight. You see, so somebody feels I was betrayed. I did not deliver because I was the person we, we gave the manifesto with, mm -hmm. but I have not been able to deliver with him the manifesto. You see? Mm -hmm. So what legacy am I leaving? Mm -hmm. You see? It's a big problem from the other end. So they are fighting themselves because of the service delivery they have not delivered to the people, as they had promised the people. Mm -hmm. you, they promised us uh, honey, but they didn't give us honey. They give us bitter herbs, which you are swallowing right now. All right, we have less than a minute, and uh, I want you to respond to something the critics are saying. Come much, the Jubilee Party might be, might go to a very serious divorce, like was mentioned to the other part, uh, coalition, that it would be messy and noisy. Do you think that this will be happening come much because it is expected to be so? To, to retain the Jubilee the way it is, eh? the elections must m might be postponed mm -hmm. from my view mm -hmm. just to have peace and uh, whatever or it might be conducted by the election might not it might be called upon but the collection might not might not be conducted mm -hmm. because of the fights that may bring and uh, the rifts that may bring in there mm -hmm. and which which would be a very bad thing for the government so they can avoid it by not having elections but just hand picking people mm -hmm. okay who will fill the positions okay but, but you see, they, pick. they may handpick people. Mm -hmm. And you see, right now, the person who is controlling Jubilee, looking at the structures, is the deputy. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, you can, uh, you, you can confirm that. Because there are allegations that uh, the, the Ruto's camp, uh, they have decided to mobilize every individual because yes. they say they are the majority. Yes. But the person who is having uh, the difficult work there is the Secretary General Tuju. He's, he's having a hard time. And he'll still have the hard time. He might just be there for the sake of being there. But at the end of the day, and that's why I'm saying, for Jubilee to sustain itself, eh, it can be like the thing it was in ODM 2014. Because it, to avoid the fraction, the many black came to thwart the elections. Okay. Then uh, an, an, an interim th team was created to manage the party. Right. So that's the same thing that can happen in Jubilee in March. Oh, really? There are no elections that are going to be there in, in, in Jubilee. Oh. If they have not had the PG, so how would they hold an election? Mm -hmm. So first of all, they need, first of all, to have an, a PG, agree, mm -hmm. and then move forward. But oh. without that, uh, let's not lie ourselves. Mm. Oh, all right, yeah. give us your final comments, because you said uh, the statement was, uh, was sarcastic. Uh, final comments or recommendations as you finish. Uh, my, my, my final comment that I've always said, I call upon Kenyans, let us take our leaders into accountability. And let us now learn that it is all upon ourselves because we elect them. Then they become rude because most of them have become rude and arrogant. You cannot question them. Mm -hmm. You cannot uh, ask them anything. They just answer you the way they want because they believe they have that power. But let's take the power because it belongs to us and we shall change our country. All right, many thanks for coming, uh, Cyrus, and sharing your comments. Thank you. Thank you so much. Also, back home for keeping us company. Coming up next is Wai Masharik with DJ Tiska and Ken Relby. So I'll be seeing you again uh, on Monday. Keep it Y254. He has been my guest, uh, Cyrus Elito. He's a political analyst. Until we meet again, have yourself a very good night. My name is Dereva Hilary. Goodbye. Goodbye.